Okay, so this is the Weka histogram that we're familiar with. This is, happens to be for the iris data and the sepal length, and it looks like this, and we can see the class. This is called class overlay. So when you have your report and you make a screenshot like this, is quite not such a great view of the histogram and not just not that easy to understand. We should use Tableau to make this kind of graph. So I'm going to show you how to do this in Tableau. So here we have Tableau. And the first thing is you have to open up the data. And if you save it as Excel, then you can open it up this way. So I saved Iris as Excel, so I can open it up. And then I have several sheets on there, so I drag the sheet that I want to work with here, and I can see the data. And I click here to get a, a space for the graph. Now I want to work with pedal length, so I'm going to click on pedal length here. And then over here there's this show me, and it's a drop down. so if you click on it, you can see different ones. Now for this, particular attribute pedal length, the only charts that seem to be available are this one and this one. So this is the one we want. So we click on that and we get this. But sorry, I didn't want pedal length. I wanted sepal length. Okay, so let's get rid of this one. So I think to get rid of it, you just can go like this, right? I click right there and remove and go like this and remove that and then click on sepal length and do the same thing here. And we get that. Now, one thing you can notice here, besides the fact that there's no colors, is that there are more bins here, than, or more bars here, than there are here. Right here, there's one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars. Now, if you point with the pointer here, I can see that this bin is goes from 5.8 to 6.3. So that's a a bin length of about 0.5 or 0.51 maybe. Whereas these bins are shorter, these lengths are shorter. So you can change that in Tableau. One way to do this is, is a sepal. So I go to sepal bin. By the way, it seems that Tableau divides the attributes into numeric attributes here and non-numeric here. So class, of course, is non-numeric, but it has also, since we made the histogram, it's made some non-numeric for petal and sepal lengths because those are now intervals. So anyway, you can enter, you can edit the intervals. So you go to here, and here you can have the size of the bin. So they found that the best size bin was 0.33, but if we want it to look like uh, I mean, it's not necessary to make it look like Weka's, but I just want to try. I'll try six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So maybe that's similar to Weka. Okay, now to get the color overlay of class, you just drag class to this color. I don't know what happens if you drag, drag to here, but here we get that. Okay, now this is... The, let's see, this is the Iris Setosa. If I put my mouse here, I can see this is Iris Setosa, and this is Iris Virginica. But I think in Weka, it's the opposite. But you can sort the order. Let's see, if you go to here, sort. And now you can sort in descending order. Now it looks more like the Weka one. I don't know how to move, say, this red one to here, but so that looks closer to Weka. Okay, now the other thing is you should make it a little more legible. So up here is the name, and if you you can edit it by right. Okay. okay, that's a little bit better. And let's make this also larger format. Same thing here. Right click and format, and we get that. Now I don't know how to bring this chart over here. If someone know can figure that out and put that on our forum, that would be helpful.